Good morning, everyone. My name is Carla Macias, and welcome back for another episode of Austin's own medical show, Best Docs Network, featuring Forest Park Medical Center. Every week, our show is bringing you discussions on today's health topics as well as procedures offered in the area. Now, let's start off today's show with Austin General Surgeon, Dr. Francis Bazad. I went to the hospital for a regular routine colonoscopy that was recommended to me by my general physician. I was 54 years old, I'd never had one done. About 20 days after I had the procedure, um, I was notified that I had colon cancer. I had no indications, no symptoms, no suspicion at all that I was gonna be diagnosed with cancer. I'm a patient at Austin Diagnostic Clinic, and so I was given a recommendation of some of the surgeons that perform there. Dr. Bazad was recommended by the oncologist that I'd been visiting. I scheduled an appointment with Dr. Bazad, and he, in very much detail, went through what would be involved in the procedure and what the result of the procedure would be as it regarded the removal of the portion of my colon that had the cancer. A very common condition in the United States is colon cancer. This gentleman, uh, had undergone a routine screening colonoscopy. So he was not having any symptoms attributable to the condition he came to see me for. They found a very large polyp. In order to control this disease process, the only way to do so is to remove that segment of colon that harbors the large polyp. The good news here is this was identified before he had become symptomatic, so we knew we were dealing with relatively early disease. When it comes to the choice of operation, we have a couple of different approaches. The gold standard historically is to do an open approach where the surgeon will typically make a vertically oriented incision in the mid-abdomen. The alternative to doing an open approach, of course, is minimally invasive surgery. I've dedicated the latter part of my career to performing these operations in, in a minimally invasive fashion. Once I completed my colon surgery, I was in the hospital for four days. I was a little bit stiff and sore from the surgery, but that Saturday, when I got out of the hospital around noon, I went to church that night at five o'clock. I felt very comfortable with Dr. Buzad. He's a very um, straightforward guy. He told me exactly how it would go and, and what the end result would be as it regarded his portion of the treatment. Austin is very fortunate to have Forest Park come to this area. Forest Park is unique in that it's owned and operated by the physicians. So we're very fortunate to have a group of almost 100 physicians from the Austin area. I think they average about 15 years experience in Austin, every one of these physicians. So, so they know Austin, they know the people of Austin, and, and they know what Austin needs when it comes to health care. I think patients benefit greatly from a physician-owned hospital for, for many aspects. One is that the, who knows better than your physician what you need when you're in the hospital. And again, many, many physicians don't have that control or that voice in a typical hospital setting. But in this setting, they do have control, they do have a voice, and they will do what's best for their patients. I think it's a difference between owning a car and renting a car. When you're an owner, it's your place, and you want to make it special. You want to make it, make it the best place for your patients to get care. And so I, I think that's really what makes it different. Our goal is to be the very best hospital in the community. Obviously, physicians know best what's good for their patients, and they wouldn't be so interested in this hospital and creating this hospital if there were a, a good alternative for them currently. So they're very excited. I'm, I'm very excited about working with them. It's going to be a very collaborative approach. I think there's a lot of uncertainty, obviously, in, in the healthcare industry right now and going forward. No one really knows what's going to happen. But to be successful, there has to be close collaboration between the physicians and the hospital. And what closer model can you have than having the physicians own the hospital and really control the hospital? So I think it's, it's a successful model for the future and uh, one that will greatly benefit this community. My example is the hotel industry. You can tell there's a difference between a five-star hotel and a two-star hotel. The people are happy to be there. People have just love to getting care there. You go to a five-star hotel once and you want to go back to that hotel. That's the environment we want to create. You combine that with state-of-the-art equipment, state-of-the-art care, and, and that's going to be Forest Park Medical Center.
here at Forest Park Medical Center, not only do we look locally, but we look nationwide for top managers, directors, and em employees. And not only did we focus on their experience, but we focused on customer service, because customer service is our number one thing that we look for, because we want to treat our patients exceptionally. What impressed me the most about the facility is that they picked the top of the staff that they could find, and most of the staff have years and years of experience. So when people come here, they're getting the best care possible. We were very fortunate. We had a large candidate pool, a lot of applicants that were very interested in working at Forest Park. Um, so we were able to hire the best and the brightest and um, it was a, an exciting opportunity to um, work through all the interviews and really look to focus on um, not only finding that clinical excellence and knowledge and experience coming from our staff, but also those that were really focused on customer service, those that really wanted to provide patients with um, that outstanding care, those that really wanted to treat patients as if they were their own family members. We are a surgical specialty hospital and our length of stay is less than two days. So we are able to allow our patients to be discharged at less than two days due to our excellent nursing ratios that we have, which is four to one, and that's an outstanding patient ratio that we have. So we can really focus on the patient and their needs. Getting what we need for the patients is the most important thing. And seeing to the needs of the patients as quick as we can is the most important thing that all of the staff has in common here. We want the recovery to be excellent. We want them to be well, we want them to feel needed, we want them to feel like they get what the care that they're paying for. I really enjoy the atmosphere at Forest Park, it's very positive, and I'm glad that I'm with the Forest Park family. It's a great place to work and a great place to be. Forest Park Medical Center is a physician-owned hospital that will be bringing a whole new level of health care to Austin in the summer of 2015. Stay tuned. After this commercial break, we're going to get an update on the construction from the Director of Facilities, Rich Carlton. You notice something about Forest Park Medical Center the moment you walk through the front door. Gone are the smells, the sights, and the sounds that are typically associated with most hospitals. And in their place is something decidedly different. You see, Forest Park Medical Center was designed to be comfortable, inviting, even calming. Fact is, many of our patients don't want to leave. Come experience for yourself what medical care should be. Forest Park Medical Center, your destination to better health. I'm Carla Macias, host of Best Docs Network, featuring Forest Park Medical Center. Today we are on site at our Austin location where we're going to take a look at the current development of the hospital. We are now standing in what will be the lobby here at Forest Park Medical Center and I'm here with Rich Carlton. Now Rich, tell us what your position is at Forest Park. I'm the facility director so I'm in charge of the facility, biomed, EVS and security. Well, I think we're at an exciting time where you're starting to see a bunch of concrete essentially transform into that place for healing that Forest Park wants to be. Uh, we're starting to see the renderings actually turn into a physical space as they unveil textures and finishes throughout the building. Right now we're on uh, the grand staircase here in the lobby which will take you up to our surgical suite. As you walk in you'll see uh, a large waterfall which is an integral part of all the Forest Park lobbies. I think that the first thing you'll notice is how it doesn't have a hospital feel and how it has that five star hotel feel to it. I think one of the first things you notice when you walk into this cafe is this beautiful mosaic. Now tell us a little bit more about it. Well, uh, I think first of all, one of the most interesting things is it wraps completely around the wall. It's 360 degrees, which uh, there are a lot of different things to see in it. For example, you'll see the State Seal of Texas. You'll see a Longhorn. You'll see a bicycle, as a, you know, that bicycling is a very important part of the Austin uh, culture. It really helps tie the facility into uh, what makes Austin Austin. Now, Rich, tell us about the design concept here at the cafe. Well, one of the biggest things that you're going to notice, it has the feeling of you're in a fine restaurant, dining room, not your typical hospital cafeteria. We're now 
standing in one of the operating rooms here at Forest Park Medical Center, Austin. Now, Rich, tell us a little bit more about the operating rooms. Well, I think one of the first things that stands out is the obvious size difference. That's much larger than your average operating room, and I think it allows us to bring in the newest and best technologies uh, for the outcomes of our patients. Just by walking in, I can already tell that this isn't going to be your average patient room. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, I think that this is probably one of the most unique aspects of the Forest Park model, and that is uh, the VIP suites, which not only provide the healing space for the patient, but actually a separate room for their family to join them through their uh, healing journey. Every patient room here at Forest Park Medical Center Austin have a green view, uh, so you can take in nature as part of the healing process. Uh, you'll find that a lot of the connections and things that you usually see behind a hospital bed uh, for medical use are hidden behind cabinets. The patient beds here at Forest Park are going to be quite different than what I think most people have experienced at other hospitals. We use 300 count sheets, bedspreads, uh, we have throw pillows. It's just uh, another way that we can make you feel at home during your stay at Forest Park. I think, of course, Park is bringing a level of healthcare that hasn't been in the area. I think it's a whole new level, and I think it's exciting for both Austin and its soon-to-be patients. So Rich, tell us where we're standing right now. You're at one of the more unique aspects of uh, Forest Park Medical Center Austin, and that's our green roof, providing a green view for all of the patients on the side of the hospital. I think one of the benefits of our current location is that we're at the edge of Austin, so we're poised to easily serve the Austin community as well as the northern communities of Round Rock, Georgetown, Leander. Also, it's located uh, next to three main highways, Mopac, 45, and 35, uh, so it's easy to get to. I've been watching the project develop over several months and uh, getting to see the finishing touches and kind of the finished product take shape has been extremely exciting. When should the Austin community expect doors to open here at Forest Park Medical Center? Austin can expect uh, Forest Park Medical Center to open in the summer of 2015. Sonia has a question for Dr. Michael Lee. When it comes between a gastric sleeve and a gastric bypass, how do you determine which option is best for your patient? Well, there's no really wrong uh, answer to that question, but certain patients will do better with a certain type of operation. Um, if a patient has severe acid reflux disease where they're on uh, multiple drugs without relief, they're gonna do better with the gastric bypass. It's the gold standard operation for uh, acid reflux disease. If a patient has to lose between 60 to 100 pounds and they have minimal reflux, they're gonna do well with a sleeve gastrectomy. Best Docs Network, helping people find the right doctor at the right hospital. Best Docs Network, featuring Forest Park Medical Center. Fecal incontinence is a loss of fecal material, uh, involuntary loss of fecal material that is bothersome. treatments of fecal incontinence, some can be as simple as different medications and changing the patient dietary habits. Some of them are more complex, involving a surgical reconstruction of the pelvic floor and sphincteric mechanisms. And also some treatments for the fecal incontinence uh, involve a stimulation of the nerves by different types of nerve stimulators that can be implanted. 
to uh, assist in the control of the bowel function. When patients get treated for fecal incontinence, the recovery process is very dependent upon the type of treatment. The surgical reconstructions tend to be a little bit more lengthy uh, recovery, uh, lasting two to three weeks usually. The patients treated by uh, nerve stimulation usually recover quickly with normal function returning the day after the procedures. I had uh, two surgical procedures at Forest Park. I had bariatric surgery uh, in September and I've had my back surgery in uh, April of this year. The staff at Forest Park was uh, cordial, uh, respectful. Uh, the checking in process was done efficiently. There were no surprises. They had called me the evening before to remind me of what I needed to do to prepare myself. I sat in the waiting room a minimal amount of time before I was called back to begin the pre-op procedure. In both cases, um, I was in on one day and I was out the very next day and felt very comfortable during the process. Just walking in, it, it did seem like a five-star hotel, but we were greeted at the desk by at the concierge. They gave my husband a pager and explained to him what the paging system was like. They would send him a text how I was doing in surgery, where I was at, everywhere in the hospital. He was able to see at any screen where I was. And so it gave him a great sense of comfort knowing that, you know, he was being, even though it was electronic communication, that still somebody was letting him know um, as I moved through the progression of um, the surgery area, the recovery area, back to my room, he knew. It was incredible how um, the staff made sure that my family was taken care of while I was being taken care of. I felt like I was in a six-star hotel. The service was great. The people were wonderful. Um, I really felt that I was treated as, as, a, as if they really cared about me and, and wanted to help me. and and get me um, to start recovering quickly. And I felt really good being there. I didn't feel like I was in a sterile uh, environment. It just felt homey. And that was nice because, you know, when you're not feeling good, it's good to be in a place that feels like home. And it was a place that felt like home. And my husband was able to stay overnight with me. The nurses, the staff, everyone seemed really happy and, and, and ready to help you out where I've been to hospitals where it just wasn't like that. The rooms at Forest Park were extremely clean. The exterior, when you first see Forest Park, it, it does look like a, a five-star hotel. Everything about it was a, a good experience. Each doctor on the Best Docs Network website has their own profile page where you can watch videos on the doctor, read their background and training, find their office locations and directions, as well as request an appointment. One of those best doctors here in Austin is urologist Dr. Melody Denson. It all started back in 2008 when I had a bladder issue that I was sent to the emergency room for. I was seen by another physician who actually recommended Dr. Denson to me. Over a period of time, things got progressively worse to the point where it was affecting my everyday life. I was unable to do anything without wearing pads. I couldn't cough, I couldn't laugh, I couldn't swing a golf club without having an accident. In April of this year, I went back to see Dr. Denson to have her remove the interstim that was not helping me with my urinary incontinence. She suggested that I have a procedure that put a sling that kept me from having accidents which were constant and affecting my life in huge ways. Incontinence isn't normal at any age, and I get asked this a lot. Is it normal to have urinary leakage? And it isn't normal. About 50% of women will experience incontinence at some point in their lifetime. It's a very prevalent number of women that leak urine. And it's not normal at any age. It's a nuisance. 
Wearing pads in your underwear can lead to skin breakdown, can lead to recurrent urinary tract infections, can lead to lots of different issues. The recovery time was immediate, basically, for my issues of having any kind of incontinence. From day one, after coming home, I could laugh, I could sneeze, I could do anything and did not have any kind of leakage issues at all. From the first time I actually met Dr. Denson, she just had the most amazing personality. She's one of the bubbliest people I've ever met. She was the first doctor who ever hugged me, actually. When I asked her about the negative press related to the sling, she explained in detail about the procedure, what it was, and how it differed from what the procedures used to be. So I felt very reassured that this was the option that I wanted to try. So why did I join Forest Park? Well, this is an opportunity for me to be a part of the best hospital that's gonna be in Austin. This is gonna be a conglomeration of the best physicians and the best surgeons in the entire city, all coming together to make the most efficient, cost-effective place for functioning in the entire city of Austin. I'm excited to be a part of it. I'm equally or more excited about this for all of the patients that are gonna have the best medical experience that they've ever had in this city. Austin is pretty much dominated by the very large hospitals uh, that pretty much serve the community, not by smaller hospitals that are private. Well, I think that there's a lot of uh, individuals who are private individuals who may need surgery that could really benefit from a physician-owned, physician-run hospital that's going to cater to good service, good outcomes, good surgery. Um, so to be part of that as an investor, I was excited about that and to be involved with the doctors who will be doing surgery there. And as a primary care physician, I'll be involved in my referrals to the doctors who are doing surgery so that there is a continuity of care between the surgeons and the primary care doctors and knowing that the patient is gonna get very good medical care. We're very excited about Forest Park Medical Center coming to uh, our area uh, because we understand that there's a very high caliber of physician that practices at these centers. They've had a lot of success in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I think we're fortunate to have a facility of that level here in Austin Round Rock. A physician-owned hospital means that we can give you the care that you need without having the bureaucracy. We don't have a person in charge who isn't involved in medicine, somebody who's telling us that we have to do something because it's a rule of the hospital. We can make medical decisions because that's what's best for you, not because it's the rule of the hospital. And the people that are involved in this project are just phenomenal. It's gonna be an amazing project. Forest Park Medical Center is a different kind of hospital. Designed for warmth, designed for comfort. Forest Park Medical Center is your destination to better health. Up next, Dr. Richard Salter pays a visit to Highland Park High School's Science Festival to talk about Forest Park Medical Center's use of robot and state-of-the-art technology to prepare and perform surgeries. Dr. Salter also discusses the importance of teaching kids the wonders and advancements in medicine and how important it is to seek a career in the medical community. Today we're having the Highland Park Science Festival and uh, they've asked me to come speak uh, specifically about robotic surgery and I've had the intuitive people and Forest Park partner together to get two demonstration robots so the kids can actually see what we do with a robot and kind of how we get prepared for surgery. We have 15 students 
who have opted to come see Dr. Salter and actually get to manipulate this Da Vinci robot. Uh, I personally know a lot of these kids and I've taught them a couple of times. Most of them are seniors and a lot of them are interested in medicine. So this is, I think, going to be a really inspiring event for them. The kids have absolutely loved it. They have just been full of questions. They can't wait to get up there and actually get on the machines and feel what it's like to operate the machines. So I think we've got some great minds here, and I think that if they can just be channeled in the right direction, then medicine has a very bright future and these kids will be part of it. We are so fortunate that members of the community feel like they need to give back to these kids. And uh, I, I don't know if they really realize the impact that they have on a lot of students because this is bringing the actual profession into the classroom. You know, it's, it's just, it's a great event and it's gotten bigger every year. So much of medicine has been maligned lately and I'm afraid we're losing our really smart kids going into other professions because of the length of training, the risk of lawsuits, the, all the negative things that they hear about and they don't hear any of the positive. So I wanted to make sure the kids know there is a positive to medicine and that if they, they like technology and they like to be involved in the newest stuff, this is where it's at with surgery. And we have a great uh, medical center in Forest Park and they, they like to get out and help the kids see what's available for our community. And I've always wanted to be able to get out and show the kids what they have available. And Forest Park has always been open-minded about trying new technology, new equipment. They also want to get out and show you know, people what's available, what they can offer that's different than some of the other hospitals. Pediatrics is the branch of medicine that deals with the medical care of infants, children, and adolescents. Dr. Ramona Sparza is a pediatrician here in the Austin area. Now let's meet the doctor. I got into pediatrics for several reasons, but the first uh, time that I remember wanting to get into pediatrics was when I was a young child, well, middle schooler. Uh, my brother actually uh, developed a brain tumor in, when I was in early middle school and the frustration of not being able to help them kind of made me geared towards going to pediatrics. The reason I enjoy being in pediatrics is because I enjoy being with my patient population. Um, you start seeing babies and then you start following them and seeing them mature and become young kids and after that seeing them uh, become adolescents and I've had some of my patients go out to college and come back and still see me. So I enjoy being uh, a pediatrician from birth till you go away to college. Lodging provided by Radisson Hotel and Suites. And that'll wrap up another episode of Best Dogs Network featuring Forest Park Medical Center, your destination to better health. For more information on any of the doctors you've seen on today's show, head to our website, bestdocsnetwork.com. Got any questions or comments? Please feel free to email us at info at bestdocsnetwork.com. I'm Carla Macias, and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.